It's Sunday afternoon, getting a little bit later in the day, so this will be it for me. I will stop working because i got to honor the Lord's Day a little bit and <laughs> not work all day. But anyways, this trail has turned out beautiful so far. i got to come through here with my tractor and with the heavy back plate and just smooth it out. But as I'm building trail, I like to build wildlife habitat while I'm at it. So if I haven't explained it before, I'll explain it now. When I'm building trail, I choose the path of least resistance. So I'm only cutting small trees. So all the small stuff, it's not worth cutting up for firewood. Instead, I just create little brush piles like this. Or in this case, I got a rotten poplar that's no good for firewood either. I just cut them up into four foot lengths, build little log houses for the grouse and the, the snowshoe hares to crawl up underneath, hide from the predators. I've been doing this for the past 10 years. Let me tell you, I got so much grouse and snowshoe hare that I actually have bobcats on my property. So that to me is the sign of a good ecosystem. And here again, I could possibly get a little bit of firewood out of this, but it's really not worth my time, so might as well build some habitat. But anyways, I got one little project left for the, for the day. I had this poplar here, which was a heavy leaner. This is where my new trail meets an old trail, going that way. So when I cut this tree up, of course it hung up. The crown hung up in that tree. And I just kept drop cutting it into sections. But once it's standing up almost straight, that's when it becomes a little unpredictable. So in this case, instead of having this tree fall on my head possibly, <laughs> what I do is I put a strap to it. Now I know this is uh, good enough for a single line pull. It's not that heavy of a tree left. So I'm just doing a single line pull to my machine. But this time I actually tied up the back first. So the back of my ATV is tied up. So it's not just relying on the brakes. And I will winch this bad boy over. Pull it out of the hang up. So yeah, most people will have their ATV running while they're winching, which an ATV has a stator and not an alternator. So it is, it's only actually charging the battery when it's running at 4,000 RPMs. So by leaving your machine running, it's, it's actually not doing anything. In my case, I got a good sized battery in my ATV. And worst case scenario, if I do drain my battery, I got a pull start. That is why I love this old Polaris. Okay, let's get to uh, winching, less yakking. Oh yeah, and you should have your machine in neutral. That's it. I ripped a hole in one of my favorite t-shirts today. <laughs> so that's a bummer. 
but I did make a lot of progress. So the reason I like to cut trails at this time of year, it's springtime, is I wait till the snow is completely gone. It gives me easy access everywhere. Now this may look soft and swampy, but everything is still frozen. It takes a long time for the frost to thaw up. So, by blazing trail, right now, this time of year, what I can do is, uh, like I cut all the trees out of the way that I don't wanna push my, with my tractor, but this is a swampy part of my property. I can still get my tractor back here because it won't sink to the, to the uh, abyss <laughs> to turn up in China. So yeah, it's a beautiful day. Sunday afternoon, time to call it quits. Have a good one, humans.